which of the following is the feature of new economic reforms liberalization privatization globalization all of the above hame pata hai answer should be all of the above kyunki new economic policy apne aap mein hi lpg hai which is liberalization privatization and globalization okay beta come to the next question mudra bank was set up to meet the credit needs of so mudra bank actually beta was set up to meet the credit needs of the small enterprises and uh, aise hi actually not only for mudra bank but different banks ke bare mein you should know uh, you know this is very very useful and not only you should know about the banks but you should also know about the full form of the bank is so for example mudra ka jo full form hota hai that is micro units development and refinance agency so you should know about mudra bank uh, about the full form of this also right okay beta let us come to the next question why was there a need for economic reforms in india actually we had twin deficit problem or twin deficit kya hota hai when you have fiscal deficit also and when you have bop crisis also external deficit bhi hai aur internal deficit bhi hai so we had this twin deficit problem so fiscal deficit bhi tha bop bhi tha prices bhi rise kar rahe the so answer to this question will be all of the above okay come to the next question how many industries are entirely reserved for the public sector so answer to this question is beta 2 right acha can you go ahead and you have to search this that which industries are entirely reserved for the public sector you have to go ahead and you have to search this so beta actually um uh, you know if you go ahead and you look at it uh, you know um, two is also not correct three di nahi hua yahan pe so so i am going ahead and i am i am going ahead and uh, marking two but uh you know when we talk about uh, since 2001 three industries were reserved exclusively for the public sector aapko batana hai ki wo teen kaun si hain one starts with a other also with a and other with r so you have to tell me what these three industries are right so i will write three okay who is the chairman of the gst council so you should know everything about gst ki gst mein kiska kitna share hota hai state government sgst kya hota hai igst kya hota hai so you should know about it completely sab kuch iske bare mein you should know so it says who is the chairman of the gst council the union finance minister right which means currently nirmala sitaraman is the chairperson of the gst council right so currently we can write sita raman okay fine new economic policy was introduced in lpg hai 1991 mein aayi thi the answer is b okay come to the next question which of the following in is an example of trade barrier jo remove kiye gaye the during lpg so beta trade barriers is whenever you have import tariff that's or quota so tariffs or quotas these are example of trade barriers so answer to this question is c okay come to the next question beta globalization has posed major challenges for So globalization से किसके ऊपर चैलेंजेस आ रहे हैं बिग प्रोड्यूसर स्मॉल प्रोड्यूसर रूरल नन स्मॉल प्रोड्यूसर्स स्मॉल डोमेस्टिक प्लेयर्स आर गेटिंग अफेक्टेड ड्यू टू ग्लोबलाइजेशन सो आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज बी ओके कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बेटा गवर्नमेंट कैन मेक ग्लोबलाइजेशन मोर फेयर बाय सो यू कैन मेक इट मोर फेयर बाय हेल्पिंग द लेबर बिकॉज बेटा ड्यू टू ग्लोबलाइजेशन द लेबर गेट्स अफेक्टेड right they have to work at a lower wage so by making better labor laws globalization can become more fair so answer to this question will be c government can make globalization more fair by implementing the labor laws okay come to the next question 
is the result of new econ dash is the result of new economic policy which abolished the license system but a license system mein ye tha that there were only few uh, only few you know industries jinko license milta tha only they could go ahead and participate but now even the foreign industry can come and participate even they can establish themselves so ek um, there is um, you know an index and that is called as ease of doing business india ka ease of doing business bahut zyada bahut zyada poor tha but due to lpg policies not only globalization liberalization privatization and globalization is policy ke chalte hue because of these policies we could improve the ease of doing business people could do business much more easily the foreign sector could come and uh, could get their foreign direct investments in your country and it could improve the way that they work within your country kyunki ab har cheez ke liye aapko kisi public sector ke paas ja kar kisi individual ke aage piche karne ki zarurat nahi thi so the answer to this question is out of three privatization but actually puri policies overall they helped us to kind of remove uh, the 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 license system but within that it was of course privatization kyunki cheeze privatize ho rahi thi isliye us license system ko remove karne ki wajah se we had an improved way of working in the country okay globalization has led to improvement in choice to consumer of course you are getting goods from outside also quality has improved foreign investment is now coming in to answer is all of the above come to the next question beta globalization so far has been more in the favor of of course developed countries developed countries always benefit more in the case of globalization globalization has led to higher standards of living of beta jo consumers already high income group mein the who were earning well now they can buy these luxury chocolates luxury clothes so unka standard of living further improve hua so globalization has led to higher standards of well off consumers okay come to the next question how many countries are members of wto the answer is 164 but this keeps changing so you have to go ahead and you have to see what is the latest result of 2023 how many members how many countries are there as members of wto theek hai to ye please dekh lena uh, jaise for example wto ki apni website its own website says over 160 member but over 160 ka kuch meaning nahi hai na exact should be known to you so jaise from the latest data that i know afghanistan it became the 164th member of wto theek hai to the last member abhi latest jo 164th bana that was afghanistan who joined in 2016 but 16 se 23 is a big time so still you should keep checking this information also okay globalization results in inflow of labor from abroad inflow of capital from abroad inflow of tourist from abroad answer beta is b and this is called as foreign direct investment that the answer to your question complement goods will have dash cross price elasticity what is complementary goods beta suppose tea and sugar pen and ink jab pen ka price badhega to pen ki demand kam hogi demand of pen will decrease jab पेन की डिमांड कम होगी तो इंक की डिमांड भी कम हो जाएगी डिमांड ऑफ इंक विल आल्सो डिक्रीज सो प्राइस ऑफ पेन के बढ़ने पर प्राइस ऑफ पेन के बढ़ने पे डिमांड ऑफ इंक कम हो जाएगी व्हेन द प्राइस ऑफ पेन विल इंक्रीज द डिमांड ऑफ इंक विल डिक्रीज सो दे विल मूव इन द ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो दे विल हैव नेगेटिव क्रॉस प्राइस इलास्टिसिटी वी हैव टू आस्क की एक के प्राइस से दूसरे की डिमांड पे क्या फर्क पड़ता है हाउ डज द प्राइस ऑफ वन अफेक्ट द डिमांड ऑफ द अदर दैट इज द क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव टू आस्क ओके बेटा लुक एट द सेकेंड पार्ट देन इट से वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन फॉर द सब्सटीट्यूट गुड 
so what are substitute goods substitute goods are used against each other like for example tea and coffee so when price of tea will increase jab tea ka price badhega then demand of tea will decrease and people will shift towards coffee so demand of coffee will increase so tea ke price badhne pe coffee ki demand badhti hai when price of tea increases demand of coffee increases so they move in the same direction so positive so the answer to this question is two is the second option negative and then positive okay beta come to the next question the cross price elasticity of demand for complementary commodities is so when we talk about complementary commodity humne upar hi dekha complementary commodities are those which are used together and since they are used together the cross price elasticity is negative so answer to this question will be negative answer is fourth that means negative come to the next question the cross price elasticity of demand between complementary product is ek hi baat hai actually whether they say complementary commodity or complementary product there is nothing different here beta so we will keep the same answer an answer to this question will be negative it will be negative okay come to the next question an example of product with inelastic demand beta inelastic demand wo hota hai where when price increases demand decreases by very less amount usually this is for necessary goods necessities जिस केस में प्राइस बढ़ने पर भी डिमांड कम नहीं होती वेन प्राइस इंक्रीजेस डिमांड विल डिक्रीज बाय वेरी लेस अमाउंट सच गुड्स आर कॉल्ड नेसेसिटीज नेसेसरी गुड्स बट फॉर नेसेसरी गुड्स वी एक्चुअली गो अहेड एंड वी हैव इन इलास्टिक डिमांड अब इन चारों में से नेसेसरी गुड कौन सा लग रहा है क्लियरली वी कैन से बॉटल वॉटर इज अ नेसेसरी गुड तो आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी टू आंसर इज बॉटल what are that's the answer to this question okay come to the next question beta which of the commodity which of the following is correlation between price and demand for a commodity so beta price and demand correlation matlab ki we are talking about the law of demand and law of demand suggest karta hai that price and demand they move in the opposite direction price and demand move in the opposite direction so beta answer to this question will be negative correlation price and demand move in the opposite direction so answer is 4 okay beta come to the next question the rise of income in developing countries would lead the demand curve to shift to so beta we know that when income increases demand should increase so jo demand curve hoga that will shift to the right demand will increase when income will increase so demand curve will shift to the right so answer to this question is one that the demand curve will shift to the right okay come to the next question the following are the two statements regarding elasticity of demand and its measurement first statement on every point on the straight line demand curve the point elasticities are equal ye to galat hai when we talk about the demand curve the point elasticity is different na yahan pe zero hoti hai yahan pe infinity hoti hai beech mein one hoti hai so point elasticity is different on the straight line demand curve they are not the same so statement 1 is false beta come to the second one on every point on the rectangular hyperbola elasticities are not equal wo bhi galat hai when we talk about a rectangular hyperbola to elasticity across the rectangular hyperbola one hoti hai elasticity is the same across the rectangular hyperbola तो बेटा ये भी फॉल्स है सो आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज बोथ द स्टेटमेंट्स आर नॉट करेक्ट बोथ द स्टेटमेंट्स आर फॉल्स 
ओके कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग फैक्टर डज नॉट लीड टू शिफ्ट इन द डिमांड कर बेटा इनकम लीड्स टू शिफ्ट एडवर्टाइजमेंट लीड्स टू शिफ्ट प्राइस ऑफ अदर प्रोडक्ट लीड्स टू शिफ्ट बट प्राइस ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट लीड्स टू मूवमेंट अलोंग द कर so price of the product it leads to movement along the curve so answer is fourth price does not lead to shift of the curve it leads to movement along the curve agle question pe aao beta the cross price elasticity of demand for complementary commodities is humne abhi abhi padha negative i don't know why it got repeated so many times come to the next question find the marginal revenue of a firm that sells a product of at a price of 10 and price elasticity of demand is minus 2 so beta marginal revenue actually demand related question nahi hai but marginal revenue kya hota hai p 1 minus 1 by e to ye ho gaya p 1 minus 1 by 2 minus sign laga diya na yahan par so e you can take in the absolute value i have already plugged in the minus sign you can take e in the absolute value beta this is the formula of learners index ye learners index ka formula hai ye sabko aana chahiye theek hai ji to ab yahan se hamara kya ho jayega this will be what is price beta price is 10 into half this will be 5 to aapka jo marginal revenue ho jayega that would be 5 okay beta come to the next question if price elasticity is 1 to usko kya bolte hai unit elastic so answer to this question will be b it is unit elastic beta come to the next question tea and coffee tea and coffee are what substitute goods they are used against each other so tea and coffee beta are substitute goods okay come to the next question demand for furniture is बेटा फर्नीचर एक ड्यूरेबल गुड भी है और कंज्यूमर गुड भी है सो इट इज बोथ ए एंड बी फर्नीचर इज बोथ अ ड्यूरेबल एंड अ कंज्यूमर गुड सो डिमांड फॉर फर्नीचर इज बोथ ड्यूरेबल एंड कंज्यूमर गुड ओके कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बेटा एक्सेप्शन टू द लॉ ऑफ डिमांड सो लॉ ऑफ डिमांड का एक्सेप्शन क्या है गिफ इन गुड्स बिकॉज दे हैव एन अपवर्ड स्लोपिंग डिमांड कर and this itself is called the giffen paradox right so the exception to the law of demand is called the giffen paradox okay beta come to the next question which of the following is true ic is slope downward from left to right from ye left side hai ye right hai from left to right this slope downward this is correct ic is slope downward from right to left aise to nahi banate hai na right so this is an incorrect statement next it says ics are convex to the point of the or origin of the two axes yes it is a convex this is correct and ics can never intersect this is also correct so all the three points 1 3 and 4 are correct so this is true this is the correct option so answer will be second which is that except the second point everything is true so 1 3 and 4 are true 